Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. Today we will be doing a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. And this box is from Dayton, Ohio. Dayton is one of my most favorite places to get from Goodwill Blue Box. So I'm super excited to open this. All right, so first looks, looks like there is gonna be some fun pieces, maybe for my kiddos. Nice colors in here today. So let's go ahead and dig in. If you are interested in any of these pieces, be sure to check my description below where you can find links to my Poshmark and my Etsy shops. You can also find my email. All right, let's look at our first piece. Wow, what a stunning piece. It says Barbie. This is actually giving me like Nicki Minaj kind of look. Very bold piece. Looks like we're gonna be missing some stones. So we'll see if we can find some at the bottom. It's looking a lot like, you know, those Y2K looks. No reading on the jewels. So we're gonna put that aside, see if we can find some pieces. All right, already starting the earring pile. Looks like we've got a couple earrings already. I usually don't have a ton of earrings from Dayton. Maybe a couple matches if we're lucky. But honestly, Tennessee did not disappoint last week. If you watched my video from last week, you'll see that we had tons of single earrings to be expected from Tennessee. So I was very thrilled to see that we had Dayton this week. Classic vintage looking necklace. All right, lovely vintage look. You're going to find your best deals here on my YouTube channel. I will post these pieces in my shop. I do sell lot box pieces. So if you're interested in a lot box, you will need to email me for those pieces. I like this stretchy band, bold flower look. I'll do this one for $3. I do offer bundle deals. So if you're interested in a couple pieces, I will bundle those. I also offer two week holds to save all of us on shipping cost. All right, this looks like a broken costume piece, so I'm going to put that one in a lot. Got lots of chains today. Not too bad for tangles, though, so I'll take that. Ooh, look at that shiny piece. I'm thinking these are going to be plastic. Yeah. Beautiful, though. That would be really cool as like a pendant. I know a lot of my lot box buyers do wonderful artwork. I would love if you guys buy a lot box, tag me in those pieces. I'd love to share with everybody on here. All right, this says stir RL, so maybe, okay, look, there's a tag on here though. Hobie. All right, so this is sterling. Let's check the chain and see if there's any. Any more markings on there? I'm not seeing any markings on here, but the pendant is marked sterling. Right, the, the clasp is, or the, yeah, the little charm is magnetic. This one is not the pendant. I like the sailboat, so I might take this chain off and put this on a sterling chain, we shall see. Maybe it's Ralph Lauren with that RL mark. Beautiful abalone heart there, loving the colors on there, super vibrant. I like the puka shells in there. Looks like maybe the clasp was broken off. We're just as super dainty like hook together. Hmm. I do recommend if you are just getting into reselling jewelry, make sure to get those repair kits. I do have a video on 
the kits that I use. I will do this one for $2. I love that pendant. Like, these are super sharp and magnetic. So we'll add it to the earring pile. If you're new to my channel, be sure to check out my shorts videos. I love going thrifting, and I would love if you guys could check those ones out. Loving that filigree look. Very shiny. All right, it is magnetic, so that means it is not a precious metal. I'll do this one for $3. All right, I'm gonna put this one in a lot. Reminds me of Alex and Ani, but it is not marked. Broken Charming Charlie's necklace. Looks like it's just missing a little O-ring. I'm gonna put it in a lot. Lots of chains today. Colorful though, so I will take it. The limited. This would be an easy fix, just I could maybe fix it right now. There we go. So I love my jewelry kits. Take some pliers and just clamp that right back down and you are good to go. All right, I will do this one for $5. A little bit of wear on that chain. I did get approved this week to sell on Whatnot, so you guys look for me on there, add me, so that I can give you guys some awesome deals. I'm also going to be doing a live show on my Poshmark closet, so you guys keep a lookout for those. I'll do this one for $1. And if you have not added me on Facebook, be sure to like my page so you can get notified when I'll be doing those live shows. All right, that's magnetic. It looks like we have some broken pieces here. Broken necklace, it looks like. Love the beads on here. this a different necklace maybe hooked into there I think it is let's see this one looks like it's hooked in there too hmm okay there we go let's look at this one All right, plastic beads. I'll do this one for $1. I like the colors on there. All right, so there's that pearl piece. All right, so this one is not broken. I like the colors, very shiny. I'll do that one for $1. All right. Another plastic beaded necklace. I'm gonna put that one in a lot. You do have to keep an eye out for some of those vintage plastics. Silver drop earring. Right, stretchy, kind of matte feeling beads there. I'm going to put that one in a lot. All right, this is a pop little, you can have different designs and you pop it onto there. Pretty cool with the M mark. We'll see if we find any of the, of the pop like poppets. I don't know what else to call it. I'll do that one for $1. All right, here's a pearl necklace. I love pearls, but sadly this one is broken. It looks like it's going to be costume pearls as well. All right, I love these beads, those coppery type beads with the turquoise look. 
It does have that new tag. Maybe it has like $5. I'll do this one for $5. I do resell a lot of these no-name costume pieces. They're great for resell. I sell all kinds of these pieces, high-end all the way down. And I think if you're going to be reselling with Goodwill Blue Box, I think it's really helpful to be open to selling these pieces. All right, these used to be super popular a couple years ago. This one looks to be in really good shape. Origami Owl, that's a good brand for this design necklace. And most likely something I will resell. Really nice chain, loving those pretty charms inside of there. And this opens up so you can change these out, which I love. I can do it right now. Costume earring. All right, these lovely necklaces always like to get tangled into everything. These wire necklaces. So I'm glad to get this one out. Let's see. Coldwater Creek. So I would normally resell Coldwater Creek. I got a couple of them last week from my Nashville box. This one's a little bit bent up. I might be able to bend those back though. It's fairly flexible. And since it's Coldwater Creek, it might be something that is worth reselling. Usually they have real stones in there. Lots of these agate looking quartz type of stones. Giving me a little bit of a reading. So I'm gonna do this one for $5. All right, cool, shiny, metallic bangle, no marks. I'll do this one for $3. All right, we found a match to the sharp earrings. This one's got some discoloration on it, some tarnishing it looks like. Those were magnetic. I'll do those for $1. Wow, look at that statement pendant there, that sword. All right, I think it is magnetic. Or maybe just the chain was. No, I don't think this one's magnetic. Let's see. I do see a marking. JP10 or like 1C2000. Okay. I'll have to do a little bit of research on this. It is pretty heavy. It's got some weight to it. See, so the chain was magnetic, so we know that's not sterling. Very cool. All these really detailed pieces I love to resell. I will most likely sell this one for maybe All right, this is going to be a fun one for my daughter. I usually like to set aside a couple pieces for my little ones, for the cousins in our family. Love to get everybody involved in jewelry, starting them out young. My grandma and my mom both made jewelry. My abuela loved jewelry, so it's in my blood. I'll do this one for $3. Looks to be a costume piece. All right, cool dangle earring here. Got the magnet out today. It's magnetic. i put it in a lot. All right, I love these copper tones going on today. I'm gonna put that one in a lot. All right, I got a marking. 925. Right, another 925 mark. So that chain is 925. Let's check it with the magnet. All right, looks good. It looks like we do have some kind of marking here. 
Looks like a couple of triangles with an R stamp. Okay, 925. Again, triangles. Like maybe an R stamp. Hmm. Another one down here. So we've got three of those. A two 925 stamps. So thinking that's 925. I recently joined Facebook and started a page, and I love the jewelry identification page. They are super helpful with the markings. So if you're new to reselling, definitely look at that page. All right, I'll do a little bit of research on this one and give you guys a pricing on that. Some interesting pieces so far. Dayton usually gives a really good variety. Cute Santa Claus with the little bulb there. All right, clothespin with some beads on it. All right, next up is this wooden bead necklace. Again, give me that vintage look with those chunky beads and the classic wood look. I'll do that one for $3. All right, let's see. There is a tag to this, etc. cetera. All right, this is fun. Loving the teal color. Definitely giving me that early 2000s look. I will do this one for $3. Okay, Pura Vida. Some of these bracelets can go for quite a bit. But this one is pretty simple, so I'll do that one for $1. Oh, look at this. Very interesting piece. Very large brooch here. All right, here we go. Nine two five TR fifty four. Hmm, this is pretty worn. I want to say it says Mexico, but upside down. So very cool. Definitely giving me that Mexico design. Nine two five. Okay, the class just came off, so I'm gonna have to try and fix that. I'll just set that aside. Usually those are fairly easy to fix, but I'll have to be very gentle with it. Pretty cool. Very interesting piece. Maybe some more abalone in here. Okay. Nice abalone necklace, pretty long. Again, beautiful coloring in there. I'll do this one for $5. Can't tell if something came off there. Maybe there was a pendant on there. And a lot of the times if those are missing, I'll just take those off and connect the necklace and leave it like that. JK by 31. Hmm, don't think I've heard of that brand before. It is magnetic. I'll do that one for $3. All right, let's check this beautiful gold look over here. All right, not magnetic. This is really pretty gold tone. Looks like the clasp is broken off. See if we got any markings here. We do have a mark. PGDA 10 karat turkey. Awesome. Looks like we've got some gold here today. It's been a while since I've gotten a good bit of gold like this. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's fairly light, but lots of intricate, detailed work there. We can test it. I do have my acid out. Let's test it. it. Says 10k, so we'll get our 10k. I'm almost out. So let's test it on the clasp here. 
Just try to be really gentle. Don't want to damage this necklace. All right, got a good scratch on there. All right, looks like we are in business for 10K. Looks great. Awesome, awesome find there. We've already found a handful. Nice weight in sterling. Now we got some gold. Again, Dayton does not disappoint. All right, broken clasp here. Put that one in a lot. All right, no marking on that tag or the clasp. Plastic beads, I'll do that one for $1. It looks like some dyed shell. All right, earring. All right, maybe this is some sort of chain link here. It's broken off with some vibrant feathers. Something my daughter would enjoy if it wasn't broken. Looks like we got a little knot in here. Lucky number seven, DNA China. Looks like maybe some kind of patent number. That's 777. Bring us some luck, Mr. 777. I'm going to put that in a lot. I'm pretty particular about what I keep these days. I do have quite a large inventory. I'm hoping some of these live cells can move some of the older inventory I have. And plus, it would just, I think, be a lot of fun to do some of those live ones. I know some people do really well on them, so I think I can do it at least maybe one or two times a week. And then, of course, have my videos here with you guys on Saturdays. All right, double layered, feathered with the turquoise looking stones. Looks to be plastic, fairly long. I'll do this one for $5. Little tiny tingle here. Let's see. All right. Thirty eight division USA. All right, we do have a marking on the back. Okay, that says Sterling, Italboro, Massachusetts, and Sterling. Okay. Love kind of the cloisonne look on this little one. So pretty cool. I've come across a lot of those military pieces before. But I don't think any of them have ever been Sterling. I'm wondering if this is... Any kind of gold. Can't figure out how to get this clasp undone. I don't see any markings on there. Beautiful pin though. Put it to the side. See if I can do some more research on that one. Some of those can be worth some money, so it's always a good idea to look it up. All right, H on that one. Almost giving me a shell look again. Do that one for $2. All the beadwork seems to be intact. Well, we've got a pretty sand dollar. Got some weight to it. 
on this chain. The chain doesn't look the same color as this pendant. I think I might see a mark down here. All right, sterling again. Oh, that's awesome. That's a great pendant too. Definitely something that's unique and would be really cool for resale. My son loves anything like ocean related. He is graduating kindergarten this week. I cannot believe my baby, my oldest. He's not going to be a little kindergartner anymore. But yeah, that's going to be a great piece for resale. This has got quite a bit of weight to it too. This is fairly heavy. Very cool. I don't think the necklace is sterling, but let's look. It's not magnetic, but the color seems a little bit off. Not magnetic, so maybe worth a try for an acid test. Another plastic beaded. This one seems to have some wear on those beads. I'm going to put that one in a lot. More pearls, costume pearls going in a lot. Another lot box piece. Pretty. I'll do that one for $1. Lots of chains today. So many chains. All right, V. I've had that V before. I will have to look it up. You guys are always super helpful. I always appreciate the information and knowledge you guys share on this channel. I always encourage you guys to share with us. I love to be able to help others and obviously learn myself. I've been doing this for a couple years, so I think I got a little bit of knowledge under my belt, but always learn something new every time I talk to you guys. All right, this is cool. This is like a choker or like collarbone, and then it's a fairly long chain down there with this really cool pearl design. All right, live, love, adopt. My One of my fur babies is an adoptee, so always encouraged to adopt. Another one for the lot pile. All right, this is kind of cool. Maybe is this for your hair? Almost reminds me of like a strap too. Hmm, interesting. A little too big, I think, for like a choker. Maybe it's a choker. You guys give me your thoughts on that one. Little mountain, super simple. Do that one for one dollar. Looks like we're gonna have some tangles on that next one. It's giving me like a stainless steel look. It is magnetic. Earring. Another fun earring. Now this bad boy is going to my daughter. If I can get it untangled, it looks like there's some stars tangled in here. So I'm gonna set this inside and see if I can get it untangled. Cause that is gonna be super fun for my little girl. All right, this is cool, very 4th of July worthy necklace there. I like the lariat look. I'll do that one for $1. Look at that lovely beadwork on here. Beautiful little flower. I love these bracelets. Looks to be glued on there. The glue work is not that great. So I'll do that one for $1. Put that one in a lot. Buy, okay, another JK by 31. Wrap bracelet, I'll do that one for $2. Pearls. 
pearl drop earring. Almost to the bottom here. Some really awesome finds so far. Oh, this is Trafari. Not Crown Trafari, it's Trafari with the C stamp. Trafari is always awesome, and we found Trafari in our last box, so that's always nice. Okay, another really fun one we found at the beginning of the box, going to my daughter or my son. They will most likely fight over that one. It's a fun piece. Definitely somewhere on that chain, but this feels nice and cold to the touch. Nice and cold stone there, and it is very large, so let's go ahead and test that for the amethyst. lovely chunk of amethyst the rest of this is plastic beads so this would almost be worth maybe putting on a large you know sterling necklace super big really loving that piece the costume opal on this costume necklace. Really cool design. Looks like maybe. All right, maybe. Hmm, looks like we're broken off here. So I might have to put, yep, looks like we're broken off there and there. What a shame. Okay, I'll sell that one for $1. All right, you can really tell the difference in that gold tone compared to the to that real gold that we found. Kind of a coppery undertone in there. Now that I've been doing this for a couple years. Usually I can tell the plated from the real deal. This one's looking plated to me. Yep, it is magnetic. I'm gonna put that one in a lot. All right, I already know this brand. This is gonna be Coro. Vintage Coro. And it's so unfortunate, but a lot of the ones that I find from Coro are missing like tons of the stones, which is so sad because they're so pretty. So maybe it'd be worth, you know, buying a kit that matches this. Or replacing it with with other ones but so unfortunate because it's such a good brand for resell all right got the large chain link necklace let's see the stamp it is rbd i think i'll do this one for one dollar all right broken clasp on that one to put it in a lot a fun charmed ring looks to be stretchable most likely gonna give that one to one of my little ones another earring Looking for any of those stamps or markings. I don't see any markings on there. We'll test the jewels. All right, no reading on that one or staying low in that glass area. I'll do that one for $2. Lots of copper looks today. All right, I love this. Pretty design. I'll do this one for $2. that in a lot. Ooh, maybe have some, yep, Juicy Couture. I love these bracelets, and these usually sell for pretty decent, and they sell quick. So Juicy Couture is definitely that Y2K look. It's very much in style, so I usually sell these between $40 and like $50, depending on the design. This has got the jewels on it, so it's definitely going to be a little bit more expensive. It looks like it's all intact, so 
I will do this one for 25 on here. On my shops, it will be listed for more. Volleyball. Okay, so it's all connected there with the charm. Tasseled earring, large tasseled earring. This is cool. Kind of giving me that a gate look. The wooden beads, very beachy. Very cool. I like this one a lot. I'll do this one for $12. Really love that pendant down there. I'm thinking it's maybe dyed. Give me a pretty good reading on there. Very cool. Definitely a unique look. The Olympic woman, and we do have a mark. Okay, Avon, cultural. Olympic sponsor, maybe 1996. Very nice. Avon is always a great item for resale and ones like this, I'm sure I could probably get maybe 15 to $20. All right, so we have a match to that. A little bit different, but kind of the same look another y2k look oh this is a crown trafari i found crown trafari in my last box love crown trafari and i usually sell these individually as well especially the crowned ones so awesome for resale so don't get discouraged if you only find a single one i usually sell those as well another fun statement necklace i'm gonna put that one in a lot this is cool, almost, okay, it's kind of bendable, like plastic. I like that look though, how cute, how cute. I'm gonna put that one in a lot, looks like it's missing a stone up there. All right, looks like a scripture, I'm gonna put that one in a lot. I like the beads on this one, very simple. put that one to the side as well all right now we're just gonna dump the rest of the box looks like lots of little lots of little pearls today try and put some of those to the side I like that enameled look on that one Pretty. Put that one in the earring pile. Put that one in the pile as well. This is cool. Kind of give me a silver look. It is magnetic. Let's put that one in a lot. So many cool vintage pieces this week. I love vintage jewelry. One of my favorite things is vintage jewelry. So I'm always looking forward and excited to see those pieces. Little fairy bracelet. Gonna go to my little girl. I like this pearl. This really cool, almost looks like Broken glass, a little hard on that one. I think we found the match to this one earlier. 
looks fairly worn over over mark on there this feels really nice and heavy robins co Adelboro. it's gonna be a vintage piece most likely i think these usually go for a set for like maybe 40 dollars. so this might be worth to resell just a single one we'll have to look it up and see magnetic Classic Stud X. I just got a Stud X in my last box too, but it was a clear stone and not this pretty blue one. All right, 585 Stud X again. Same exact one, but with a clear stone last week. And usually those stones don't give me much of a reading, but it is technically gold with that 585. All right, that's a beautiful hoop and I do see a mark on it. 925 Italy. Diadema. Cool. I will look this up and see if it's worth to sell this as a single earring. We'll have to see. Sometimes I hang on to them as well and find matches later on. So there's always hope for that. And it's crazy how you can go through a couple boxes and find a match. So always keep that in mind. Very cool, edgy looking earring there. Let's test that stone in the middle. All right, no reading on there. All right, so this was a fabulous box, of course. Dayton did not disappoint. Always love getting from Dayton. Always super interesting boxes, and you really have no idea what you're going to get. Sometimes they are just out of this world, and today I cannot complain. We got a ton of sterling pieces, and we had some awesome gold finds. And honestly, I just, I can't complain. I'll definitely make my money back. If you're interested in a piece, be sure to check out my Poshmark shops. Also send me an email. And until next time.